In today's video, we're going to go over the average setups on towers for carriers, Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T. A typical Verizon site has two LTE antennas on the right side of the tower. These tend to broadcast band 2, band 5, band 13, and band 66. This panel right here broadcasts C-band, or the ultra-wide band network on Verizon. This does 140 megahertz of C-band at least or dependent on your area. This small panel right here is CBRS. This CBRS panel broadcasts however many megahertz in your area of band 48. This is a typical T-Mobile setup. This panel right here broadcasts all of their NR and LTE, like band 71 or N71, band 2 or N26, or band 66. This panel right here does their N41 or their ultra capacity network. Here is a typical AT&T setup. On either side of the 5G antennas are your LTE or low band 5G antennas. They tend to broadcast band 2, band 5, band 12, band 29, band 30, and band 66. All of that is dependent on your area, however, they also broadcast N2 or N5 if they're updated. This top panel here is your C-band antenna. This is normally 80 MHz of C-band, the national average of AT&T's holdings, and this bottom panel broadcasts 3.45 GHz, or DoD, if it's available in the area. Remember, tower antennas, setups, and age all vary based on what region of the United States you're in. Some towers may have legacy carriers or equipment like 2G or 3G still on them. Take a screenshot of this and happy hunting! Remember, subscribe if you found this helpful.